Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Finesse Monster. Thank y'all for tuning in for another video. If you're new, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you get more content coming from me. Just a quick rundown on Mullen stock today on how it performed. I think it performed pretty good. We stayed above a dollar on offense once again. And we have filled this gap and successively trying to find a reversal to the upside. So right off the bat, we saw some big buying pressure come in, some big buy orders coming in, and the order flow distribution showed that there were a lot more buying than selling, but that quickly changed throughout the day. We also noticed that at a dollar and five cents, the price went neutral. So in my opinion, those buy orders uh, from these big institutions were being recycled along with the short amount of borrowed shares that they had available this morning. I believe they were doing that to keep continue to keep the price down. Also, volume was very low today, one of the lowest amounts of volume I've seen. I'm pretty sure that they're holding up all these buy orders. That's why we see spikes usually right at market open or right at market close from them holding up these buy orders during market hours and also after hours before the eight o'clock close however looking at the three month chart or the daily which one you're whichever one you're looking at i have two arrows pointing to the point where we saw a walk down of price also with volume being taken away and then we saw a spike i'm looking to see if it does that again before the week ends we've been steadily getting walked down and also the volume has been taken away and i'm definitely more bullish than bearish on this chart because i told you that they will play these games with the price up until the last second and then you see a bounce in my opinion there is buying pressure definitely supposed to be coming in on this stock there's no reason that, that I, there would be more selling pressure right now, especially with the catalysts that are already mainstream expected to be announced at the end of this month. People will be steadily buying Mullen stock up, up until the point of, the, of it being announced. Even Seeking Alpha released an article today talking about all the positive catalysts, too many positive catalysts coming from Mullen, which we already know. They're talking about Fortune 500 them being listed on Russell 2000, 3000, stuff we've already been discussing on this channel. But it's good to see the articles being, the good articles being put out about Mullen stock versus the ones that are bashing it and the ones that are paid by these same people that are shorting the stock. I looked at the buy and sell volume today on Mullen stock. The buy volume was obviously higher, 7 million buy volume with 5 million sell volume and also almost 4 million neutral. We saw a massive amount of neutral trades today and those are trades that are traded between the bid and ask. Here's a picture for you if you want to know the meanings behind the different colors of prices or trades that you see on the tick by tick. It'll be posted up right there for you. And lastly, the borrow fee rate short shares available to borrow got another small bounce back up over 11 percent currently at 11.7 percent and as i've said in my previous videos i feel that borrow fee rate will steadily climb going into the re release of the announcements and the catalyst that we have coming because they want to make sure they do everything in their power to keep this price down and shake the tree to try to get people to sell that's all I really got for this video. I hope y'all find this information valuable. I hope y'all stand prepared out there. Let's get to these charging stations to recharge our battery. Keep this electricity going through our body. Staying charged up. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Stay bullish. Catch y'all in the next video.